each morning at 5.30am, long before a ball will be struck. Teams of golfing experts up and down the country gather to trim, tweak and tinker their own slice of paradise. And at Royal Auckland, Mark Hooker and his 15-strong greenkeeping team converge at their Middlemore headquarters, ready to prime the course for another day's golf. Doug, you're going to be putting on the sector side with the multi-pro. Uh, and then after that, carry on slicing surrounds. Sam, uh, you're going to be mowing greens with the pedestrian mower this morning. Uh, and then after that, second job, you'll be on a buffalo blower on the fairways. All right, good. Let's get out there. Cheers. Royal Auckland is one of the country's premier golf courses, a pristine parklands paradise, meaning Mark's team have high standards to reach 364 days of the year. The property spans 55 hectares, so there's plenty of daily fine-tuning to be done before the first tea time. Well, we have 15 guys at the moment. Typical sort of morning duties are all the mowing duties and the raking duties. Our members here start playing around about 7 o'clock, 7.30. So we want to make sure that the greens are ready to be putted on and the fairways are mowing and the tees are mowing as well and bunkers raked and all of those things that, that our members would expect here. And then after that, we'll come back through the course and do some of the other sort of aesthetic jobs like, you know, repairing paths or doing some weed spraying in the rough or pruning trees. Royal Auckland has one of the largest green staff of any members club in New Zealand, allowing the luxury of having their greens hand mown. There's a painstaking attention to detail to having this famed Middlemore layout in perfect condition. At the moment our guys start work at 6 o'clock in the morning and they finish at 2.30 in the afternoon. For some of our managers, you know, the days can be longer and, you know, especially when we're doing this sort of renovation type work. Some of us were here until 9.30 last night. So 6 o'clock in the morning until 9.30 is a bit of a long day, but that's not a typical day. Um, we might do that, you know, over three or four weeks of the year um, just to do things like coring or, or renovation on fairways or if we're doing other, any other special projects, yeah. Semi-regular projects keep the course up to standard through the changing seasons. And at Royal Auckland, a key to presenting pitch-perfect fairways for their members is a process called scalping. So this is the scarifying of the fairways. We're setting up our fairway mowers at about 7 mil, which is about as low as we can get it, um, and scalping off the cooch down. And that's basically removing a lot of the organic debris and thatch to try and keep the surfaces firm and also the cooch healthy. So it looks quite aggressive. It wouldn't recommend we do something like this at a home lawn. It'll probably take two or three weeks to recover from this, but when it recovers, the surface will be really firm. It'll encourage some dense growth. It'll get some really fine texture and it'll be nice and new and succulent. So the browner the better basically. So where you see the fairway collar here where we've, where we've cut this down low, it's kind of got a bit of a scalped look to it. So that's what we're trying to achieve with the whole surface and you'll see with the fairways we haven't quite got that down yet so we'll have to do another pass over the fairways and try and achieve this sort of browner look which is obviously not the norm for golf courses but um, in a couple of weeks time it'll be uh, recovered and it'll be much nicer than what it is before we started the process. When you're dealing in millimetres you need precision tools and Mark's crew have a fleet of Toro machines built to get the job done. It doesn't matter what golf course you walk onto around the world, you need to have reliable equipment so that you can get the job done. Downtime is something that us uh, superintendents don't like on golf courses, so we're fortunate here at Royal Auckland we have a great range of Toro equipment. They provide us with really good backup support and that's probably just as important as the machinery, you know. There's more to green keeping than just growing grass, then cutting it. The team at Royal Auckland includes landscapers, horticulturists and arborists. There are some really interesting ecological things that we do uh, on golf courses. One of the things that was started was the release of some neutered grass carp into our irrigation lake to control all of the aquatic plants. So these fish are doing really well, they're thriving and they're absolutely enormous. Our mechanic and horticulturalists, uh, together they constructed some bird boxes for some of the trees on the course. And last week we found that two of those boxes were actually um, filled with bees. So. You know, we're going to get a beekeeper on site tomorrow and he's actually going to put them into hives for us. So that's quite an interesting thing. And it's also another sort of tool or, or skill that greenkeepers can pick up in beekeeping. Royal Auckland Golf Club is going through a transformative period where their merger with the Grange Golf Club will see the course remodelled over the coming years. 
And Mark has at his disposal a living, breathing, growing science lab where he can experiment with greens and bunkers to be used in the new layout. A really big asset for us has been our research green here. Um, so we built this green uh, three years ago. So far we've had nine different uh, creeping bent and colonial bent grass cultivars growing in it. Uh, we're continually uh, removing products that we don't want to use and planting new products. This is another example of why we do these trials on site. This is a creeping bent grass variety which really looks great for 10 months of the year. Uh, but as soon as we start getting into our summer months uh, for the past three years, we have experienced uh, dollar spot disease on this plot and it's the only creeping bent grass plot that we have on the research plots that gets this disease. So for me, that's kind of a red flag. Whilst it might work really well in other parts of the country, I'd be really concerned about using it on our course. Bunkers are very uh, subjective and it's really difficult to find the right sand and, and, and maintain it the right way for your members. So what we've done, we've had an accredited lab testing sands for us to make sure that we're going to be choosing the right sand and that comes down to lots of things like particle size, distribution of the sand, the shape of the sand and also the colour of the sand. And so what we've decided to do uh, is actually put our sort of top four into a bunker side by side so that our members and our professionals can get in and really get a feel for the sand and, and that way we'll, we'll make a really good selection. Mark is passionate about his role as course superintendent, ensuring Royal Auckland is presented immaculately for its members. No day is the same where a shift can span 16 hours, covering everything from fairway roll to pest control. I'm one of those fortunate people that actually looks forward to going to work every day. Um, it's not a lot unlike farming, you know, this is our farm. It's not just about watching the grass grow and, and mowing. We have to make sure they're weed free, they're pest free. Uh, not just um, insect pests, but rabbits and all those sort of things. We have to make sure that those jobs are done before the golfers arrive so that you know, they're presented with the, with the property without having to put up with our stuff as well. So, no, it's a, it's a great environment, a great job, and I'm very lucky. Catch Holden Golf World, Thursdays and Saturdays.